Good morning, y'all. So I'm currently in the car letting my car warm up before I head over to the gym. Today is just cardio day. Just to let y'all know, today's video is going to be a full day of eating keto video. I know I told y'all this before, but Monday through Friday, I try my best to do intermittent fasting. And then Saturday and Sunday, I just live my best life, basically, y'all. I'm living my best life. And today, y'all, today is only Monday, but I really was fighting the need to just eat before I go to the gym. Like, I really didn't even need to eat, y'all. I wasn't hungry, I just wanted to eat. Like, I had some pecans, they were looking at me and they were like, eat me, eat me, y'all. I'm so lame right now, I'll tell y'all this. But that's what it felt like, they were like, eat me. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna eat y'all before I go to this gym. Before keto, y'all, I was not the type to be like, you know, eating pecans and walnuts and all that stuff. But now I've gotten to the point where sometimes I'll be eating some pecans and then all of a sudden, I don't even know who I am anymore. Like, I have to make sure I measure my pecans or walnuts that I can eat. So I'll just be eating and look back down and the bag almost empty, y'all. I'm just like, why am I like this? Like, I don't know. <laughs> just wanted to share that little story with y'all. But now, y'all, we about to drive away and go to the gym. So when I do cardio, I typically just watch like a good little episode on Netflix or whatever. So the goal right now is to do maybe like burn over 300 calories, hopefully, or I basically add 300 calories. And I'm going to be drinking my brown Mississippi water <laughs> over here and watching some Netflix. Oh, and just to let y'all know, I'm on season seven of watching Once Upon a Time on Netflix. So yeah, just gonna be doing that over here. I want to show y'all I burned 277 calories. I could have burned 300, but I was going real, real slow. And then at the end, I was like, okay, let me actually do this. But yeah, at least I got my workout in, and that's all that matters. y'all can hear me because i have my air on right now your girl is hot i just need some air in my life i just have to be honest and let y'all know that i feel a little down because i did not achieve my goal of burning 300 calories and the reason i didn't was because i just was like i'm not feeling this workout i was like maybe 15 minutes into the workout and i was like oh my gosh i just want to go home i hate it here i want to go home i am definitely happy that i did not like you know end up leaving and going home but i didn't like really start like going hard 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 into my workout until maybe like 25 minutes into the workout y'all and i was just like oh my gosh like when the workout was over i was like oh my gosh how did i end up doing this to myself yes like i said i am happy that i did complete the workout but like you know when you have a goal and you don't hit it like that's kind of like a little devastating or whatever there was this nice little older lady and she was like oh my gosh you're like really going hardcore today and i was like i'm really not in my mind but like it was just nice seeing that someone else saw me, I guess, you know, like working out. And that did make me feel a little bit better. And she was like complimenting me and all that stuff. So I guess maybe you just never know like how people be feeling, even though this, this wasn't like anything like big or major in my life. Like just say something nice. That's what I challenge you all to do today. Say something nice or just compliment someone else. And you know what? I'm going to do the same thing as well because I can't be telling y'all to do stuff and I'm not doing it myself. Hello. So y'all, they have the No Cow Energy Bar, Chunky Peanut Butter Bars, and that makes me so happy. Cause they've only had the chocolate sea salt for a while. So yes, these are so good. I'll link them down below. Okay y'all, so y'all know how I told y'all this morning, I just wanted to snack on my pecans, just to snack on them. Like I said, I'm doing intermittent fasting today y'all. And now that I have the No Cow Energy Bar, y'all, I really just want to eat one. I have a little less than two hours left I'm not gonna cave in and eat this bar. I'm not gonna do it, but I want to so bad. Like, it's calling my name. Like, y'all, I'm just so freaking happy that GNC finally have my no cow energy bar, the one that I like. As y'all can see, it was $2.99 for that one. And then for the chocolate sea salt one, that's $1.99. That's not even the one I wanted, but 
what else? Okay, y'all, so I'm just not making it back home. I have a little over an hour left of intermittent fasting. I'm gonna be making some keto candied pecans. So, I mean, y'all, I don't know, like, oh my gosh. It looks so good. When I watch the video, it looks so good. So, hopefully, it tastes good. Oh, and let me make sure I give credit. I'm taking this recipe from Keto Life. So yeah, let's go ahead and make some keto candied pecans that we don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but hopefully it's good. So y'all, the ingredients are going to be pecans, some pure organic stevia blend. I'll link it down below if I can find it. And then I have some ground cinnamon, some pink Himalayan sea salt, one egg, and then just this cup is basically supposed to represent some water, y'all. <laughs> don't forget to also have some parchment paper. Okay, y'all, so it's stated to preheat oven to 250. Oh, pass it. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to do one third of a cup of my pure organic stevia. Um, they didn't give like an actual like amount of everything. So I'm just going to probably try to like guesstimate everything, y'all. Okay, we're, we're just going to have fun. Y'all, I have to apologize because Keto Life actually had the instructions in the description box all I had to do was click the link and I wasn't smart enough to do that. So, um, yeah, I'll at least try to put the instructions of what I did in the description box. Now we are going to put in a little bit of the ground cinnamon. I don't know how much to put in. Just go put in whatever this amount is. <laughs> Y'all, in the video, they had more than that. So I'm going to put a little bit more. Yeah, that looks about right. That'll do. Some of it already fell in, y'all, but we are going to use one-fourth of a teaspoon of the pink Himalayan sea salt. Now, y'all, I'm about to do my wet ingredients. This is going to be interesting because I'm supposed to only use the egg white, so we will see how that turns out. <laughs> Gosh, y'all, I was doing pretty good in just getting the egg white, and then all of a sudden, I just was like, oh, it's a little bit more love. Let me go ahead and put it in there, and then here comes the yolk. <laughs> so I have to get this out now y'all I'm just going to put like two tablespoons of water in here um I didn't get all the yolk out but I'm pretty sure that won't mess up the recipe right I don't know we'll find out <laughs> now we are going to mix up the water and the egg yolk together mix it up real real good okay y'all so once I mixed up my wet ingredients I put in my pecans and next it says just to coat the pecans with the mixture so I made sure to coat my pecans well with the wet ingredients. And now I'm about to put these pecans with the dry ingredients. Everything is coated. I went ahead and put it in the strainer. Um, now I am going to carry it over to my parchment paper. They are on the parchment paper. I'm going to spread them out and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I spread out my keto candied pecans. In the video, it said like place it in the oven for an hour. I don't know. I'll just check on it like maybe 20 minutes. I'll see you then. First quote unquote meal of the day, y'all. This is really not a meal at all, but my steak has not thawed out yet. So I'm about to have just some cucumbers and I put my pink Himalayan sea salt on top of it. Your girl is really ready to eat, but I'll have this as a snack. If you don't know, cucumbers are a great keto friendly and low carb snack. So yeah, I definitely try my best like when I go to the store to get some cucumbers. Okay, y'all, these keto candied pecans, y'all, smell so freaking good. Um, Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 15 minutes. Um, I'm not going to take it out yet. I know in Keto Life video, it's stated to stir every 15 minutes. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to do that every 15 minutes. So... I'm going to let it stay like this for maybe 10 more minutes and then I'm just going to stir them and then that's, I'm just going to leave it like that. Like, dang, I'm not doing that every 15 minutes. No, but thank you so much Keto Life for this recipe. <laughs> okay, y'all. So these Keto Candid Pecans are so good, but I was like, oh my gosh, as you can see, I already started eating some of them, but um, I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to do something extra. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top of these pecans. And I may also put a little bit of my pink Himalayan sea salt as well. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So the olive oil and the pink Himalayan sea salt are on top of the pecans. And we're going to put it back in the oven for, let's see, maybe seven minutes and see what it tastes like then. All right, y'all, so my keto candied pecans, y'all, are so freaking good. Oh, my gosh, I was not expecting it to be this good, but, y'all, I did that. 
I'm very proud. <laughs> All right, y'all. So first meal of the day, I have some steak, broccoli, two pieces of bacon strips, and eggs. I have two whole eggs, and then I have that one yolk that I used earlier. Yeah, I was going to use it. I was not throwing away. You know, we don't throw away items over here. After I get done with my food, yes, after. I'm saying that to myself, y'all. <laughs> after I get done eating my first meal of the day, I'm going to have a few more of my keto candid pecans and to drink y'all i'm having my coke zero snack time y'all so i'm about to have some seaweed um in the flavor wasabi and then i have my vienna sausages definitely a little bit of a lazy keto snack right now and just let y'all know in case you're interested the seaweed is dairy free and it's vegan and gluten free as well <laughs> yay so y'all i don't believe i'm going to eat all of the seaweeds i think i'm just going to have just a couple of them and finish. I'm gonna eat the whole thing of the Vienna sausages. And I'm also drinking water over here, getting my H2O on. Snack time, y'all. So GNC finally stocked up on the No Cow Chunky Peanut Butter Energy Bar. They're so good. And I'm about to have one while I work on this new YouTube video. If you don't have like a GNC near you, I will just have it linked down below in my description box. I know I've only had one actual meal today, y'all, but honestly, I just don't feel the need to eat, really. Like, I just want to eat right now, <laughs> and so I want some ice cream, so I'm about to have the Halo Top Dairy-Free Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough.